What is going on guys, welcome to the Mark Flyer and welcome to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator Tutorial with me uh, Where today we are going to do another IRS tutorial and we will be doing it at London Heathrow Airport This will be my first time uh, doing the approach in London Heathrow as I have never flown there in real life So I'm going to give it a try to see if I manage to land the aircraft at London Heathrow with zero experience over there uh, with the guide of the IRS approach I accept that challenge. And we'll be doing it at runway 27 right at London Heathrow. Uh, this will be a quick tutorial as I've done the IRS tutorial before at Hong Kong. If you haven't checked out, do check out here on the top right corner. So without further ado, let's get right into the chart we have here today. Uh, the chart I managed to get on the internet and the depth for me seems to be updated but I'm not quite sure if this is the latest version. Nevertheless, let's uh, go through the chart we have here today which is the IRS DME or localizer DME Rame 27 right at London Heathrow and we have the India Romeo Romeo localizer frequency 110.3 and then your final approach cost will be 269 which is uh, one degree difference as per the Rame track as the Rame track is 270 for Rame 27 right and uh, we have our final approach fix of uh, 7.5 miles India Romeo Romeo Expect to intercept the localizer in the glide slope at 2,500 feet and you have your decision altitude 278 feet Airport elevation 83 feet, runway elevation 78 feet So let's have a look at the uh, chart here The profile seems to be very easy and we expect to descend to 2,005 and you are not allowed to descend until you are fully established on the localizer and the glide slope So we have to make sure we are uh, well established on the localizer before we can descend on the glide slope There's a note here IRS aircraft are never to receive DME up to advise ATC and then equivalent radar fix will be provided at 7.5 vertical miles in their Romeo Romeo or 4 miles in their Romeo Romeo and then for the in case we are shooting a localizer approach uh, the approach will not be available uh, we are the DME signal from the IRS so uh, IRS DME reads 0 at runway 27 right threshold So just for your info as you can see we have this asterisk sign on the uh, frequency here which is the 110.3 the localizer frequency What this means is that the IRS uh, frequency is not always on the A It is only operating uh, part time as per decided by the airport authority itself So let's say if you go through a NOTAM you can see maybe this particular runway or the ILS frequency will not be uh, usable for one particular time uh, especially during the night if there's any noise abatement procedure going on then you might have this thing correct me if I'm wrong but this is just my uh, point of view over here uh, then you have the localizer altitude reference in case you are doing a partial manage or like what we call inside the Airbus or you are using a selected flight path angle on your aircraft then you have to cross check on the altitude uh, with regards to the distance from the runway do not descend below the descent profile uh, we have a glass wall angle 3 degree for this ILS and then high intensity approach lighting system category 2 installed puppy on the left side runway 27 right minima 278 our RER requirement is 550 meter for a full approach lighting system working scenario this approach should be climbed straight ahead when passing 1580 feet or passing your 0 miles in the Romeo Romeo which is your runway threshold whichever is later climbing turn right on track 316 to 3000 feet then as directed in event of radio failure to see on the other chart so meaning 3000 feet will be the altitude that we are going to set once the glide is being captured and minimum sector altitude uh, we have referred to Lima Oscar November the VOR London over here so meaning our approach today will be passing the 2100 feet segment and means approach will be going into 2200 feet segment so that's all we need to cover for the uh, IRS here it's just a rough idea on how to conduct an IRS approach here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, position the aircraft tracking to 7.5 miles in their Romeo Romeo and then we should see final approach fix maintaining 2500 feet and then we will intercept the localizer and then the glide slope and then proceed to land so for now, let's proceed to the aircraft Alright guys, so now we are inside the aircraft and uh, our position is currently about 5 nautical miles to the final approach fix uh, which is uh, shown here is Charlie Foxtrot 27 right 
However, I think uh, I'm not sure whether it is correct or not, but I think it should be showing uh, Fox or Fox or 27, right? Since this is the final post fix we have seen just now, uh, which is 7.5 nautic miles uh, from the India Romeo Romeo DME. So you can see here it, it is yeah, somewhere around 7.5 nautical miles. So I have no idea why it is showing Charlie Fox Road 27, right? So if anyone knows, just leave a comment down below and we will discuss about it. Alright, so it's quick go through on the setup here. Uh, on the flight management system, we have the London Heathrow Runway 27 right LS being set up via Bravo India Golf. But however, we are tracking straight away to the final approach fix here. And uh, you have your approach phase being activated. So the speed is maintaining a green dot speed. Uh, temperature 10 degrees Celsius over London here. QNH 1021 is being set. Uh, wind we can expect. A direct headwind of 10 knots. Minimum descent altitude, or you should call it the decision altitude, 278 feet being set. And we are landing on flight full today. And the update is done. And then for the flight control unit, uh, as usual, constraint on. And I leave it on the arc mode. You have your LS button on as well. Selected heading for now. Since the direct two function in the in the flight management system doesn't seem to be really working pretty well, so I'll just maintain heading here. And two thousand five hundred feet on the altitude is being selected as well. So we are maintaining two thousand five. And what we're going to do next is the uh, once we are tracking to Charlie Fox Road two seven right here, then I will arm the approach and then we'll see how it goes. All right, let's unfreeze the simulation here okay so going a bit right heading here let's say heading 280 then we are going to intercept on the uh, ILS via form here so we have flaps all alive then we slow down a little bit flaps one and yep let me just arm the approach and see what is going to happen block start and uh, GS Blue, yeah, Cat 3 single. I don't think we are able to arm um, both the uh, uh, autopilot now. So just you know, Cat 3 single. Alright, steps 2. Since our glide slope slowly capturing. So if you, want to, you don't want to uh, find it difficult to slow down the aircraft once we establish on the glide slope. So let's stop being captured and uh, go around altitude 3000 feet to set on the FCU. Uh. Passing 2000, gear down. Go for flap speed. And then flap slow. Lock on the FMA. Proceed with landing Chinese. Landing Chinese cabin crew. Advice. Auto trust. We have speed. Auto brake. Low. EK memo. Landing. No blue. And a simple clearance is granted. We have to land on the 27 right. And a headwind we can expect up to 1 0 knots. The speed is slowly capturing as well. Pulling up 1000 feet, aircraft is fully stabilized. Let's go for manual flying. Let's connect autopilot. Flight director going haywire, so just off the flight director and turn on your track flight path anchor. Speed. So it's the 3 degree path. Slight correction of the uh, 
vacate on the first left exit way over here. Slow down a little bit more. And commence your left turn. Speed is good. Alright, we have managed to land in uh, on the hit road. And of course, this is just straight in approach. I always approach some more, so we uh, can't expect more of it. Uh, hopefully next time we're going to do it in a nighttime scenario and a bit of uh, snowing maybe do a bit of uh, cold weather operation and see how it goes alright guys so this is uh, just a quick tutorial on the iOS here at Heat Road around 27 right and if you have any better suggestion on the uh, approach how it should have been done just leave a comment down below uh, if you find it useful don't forget to like share and subscribe as well and uh, let me know what kind of tutorial or approach you want to see me doing next and I'll see you guys in the next video very soon